Hello, it's Lyndon and welcome to my channel. It's so nice to see you and thank you everybody that's shown support with your lovely positive comments and people buying me a coffee. It's absolutely fantastic. Today I want to have a look at low notes on the saxophone. So specifically we're going to be looking at low C, low C sharp or D flat, low B and low B flat. And what I've found is that sometimes these notes get neglected, which is a little bit crazy really, because it's like going around to somebody's house and saying, you've got a beautiful basement. And they go, oh yeah, no, we don't go down there. And they say, well, why not? Oh, because the bulb's broken and there's a bit of a spider's web near the door. It's like, are you crazy? You've got a massive, great big room down there. It's beautiful. You could turn it into a gym or a home cinema. Yeah, we don't go down there. Play the low notes. If you're not playing the low notes on the saxophone, you're missing out on a big section of notes on your instrument. It's really, really important to do. It will also help with your tone throughout the range of the instrument. If you can get the low notes, then the mid-range notes, the lower mid-range notes, will be much easier. And it will also have a positive effect on all of the notes that, that you play throughout the instrument because it's going to develop your embouchure more. Whenever you're playing low notes on the saxophone, what I suggest that you do is think about dropping your lip down or your jaw, opening up your jaw a little bit more. Just drop it down like this. The other thing that you can do is to open your throat. So you know when you're going to yawn, right? And you just uh, right? your throat really, really opens. Try opening your throat when you're playing these low notes and it will make it much, much easier to do. So these are the low notes on the alto sax. So the first low note that I want to have a look at is low C. And that is three fingers on the top and three fingers on the bottom and the little finger just here. Then the next low note is actually a semitone below that. So my right hand stays where it is and my left hand is going to go to the outside flappy paddle here. Now sometimes this note sticks, so it will be this note down here, this pad, and you can see that it's closed. So any pad that is closed before you press the key to open it, it's likely that it can, it can stick sometimes. So just make sure that it's not sticking. So I've got three fingers on the top, three on the bottom, low C, and this outside flappy pedal here on the spatula keys is their proper name. Now if I want to play low B, I'm going to move my little finger, the right hand is going to stay exactly where it is on low C, and my right hand little finger, my, sorry, my left hand little finger is going to go over to this inside flappy paddle here and press that down. And for the very lowest note, I'm going to be using the bottom flappy paddle here on the spatula keys. So again, my right hand is on low C and my left hand is on this low note here. And that is the lowest note on your saxophone. <coughs> And the really cool thing about that low note, B flat, is that if you ever find yourself on a boat and it's foggy, right, go to the front of the boat and hit that note. And the captain will be looking out of his, of his area going, is that low B flat? Thank you. Yeah, it does. It sounds like a foghorn. It really does. But it sounds wonderful as well. So those are the low notes on the alto saxophone. I do hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe and like and share. Put these videos about. Have a look at all of the other content that I've put on in my channel. You've got major scales and minor scales and patterns and how to improvise. There's loads of good stuff there. I do hope you found it useful. Thanks again for all of your lovely comments and your support and people that have bought us coffees and tipped us and everything. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.